Mm. Oh yeah. Welcome to Avon Meets Food, where I share my passion for making food, eating food, as well as traveling the world to discover and eat even more delicious food. Today, we're going to be making a very delicious festive stew that you could easily make for a holiday meal or a celebratory meal, and that is going to be Chinese-style oxtail stew. This video is part of a new series that I'll be rolling out called Grandma's Recipes. This is basically going to cover recipes that remind me of the amazing dishes that my paternal grandma used to make when I was growing up because she is definitely a huge influence in my life for my love of food and of course my love of cooking. So this Chinese style oxtail stew is a variation of an oxtail stew that I grew up eating and so I hope that if you grew up with oxtail stew, Chinese style, that this will help jog some of your memories of delicious eating growing up too. So to get started, we're going to go through all of our ingredients, and I promise the list isn't too long for a traditional-ish Chinese recipe. So for oxtail stew, of course, we'll need oxtails. So we've got about three and a half pounds of oxtails. These I've cleaned and also defatted, so basically removed the excess fat. Oxtails are naturally very, very fatty. They are the tail of cows, and so they have a lot of excess fat along them. So you wanna make sure that you are taking off the excess fat, mainly because if you don't, it may make your stew a bit too greasy and borderline unpalatable. So just make sure that you're defatting it as part of your prep work. Next, for our seasonings, we've got a number of different spices. We've got about six cloves, four pieces of star anise, super flavorful, very, very pungent and fragrant, three whole bay leaves, about one inch of ginger that I've skinned and also smashed. Going a little bit heavy on the garlic, I've got about seven fat garlic cloves that I've smashed two teaspoons of sugar. I'm using granulated sugar, but if you have the more traditional Chinese rock sugar, of course you can feel free to use that. Two different types of soy sauce. We've got dark soy sauce as well as light soy sauce. Dark soy sauce's purpose is mainly to lend a nice caramelly color, whereas the light side of soy sauce is really responsible for the actual salty flavor. We'll also need a tablespoon of neutral oil to get us going. I'm using avocado oil, one and a half cups of water, and about half a cup of Chinese cooking wine. You can also use sherry if you don't have Chinese cooking wine. And that's really it. And the best part about this recipe is that we are actually not going to be making it the traditional way over the stove and letting it sit for hours and hours. Instead, guess what? We're going to be using my Instant Pot! I love my Instant Pot. And I'm pretty sure if my grandma were still around, she'd probably embrace the Instant Pot too gonna expedite the entire process so what is normally going to take anywhere from three to four hours of cooking over the stove is actually only going to take 45 minutes yay so you can tell I love my instant pot so to get started we are going to add in that tablespoon of oil turn the instant pot to saute and then we're going to start browning the oxtail to get started so once our oil heats up, we're going to slowly take each of the oxtails and then put them in one by one, just brown them on all sides. That's gonna lend a deeper flavor to the oxtail stew. Make sure you have patience when you're browning the oxtails. You definitely wanna make sure you're getting all the sides. So not just the top and the bottom, but also these edges. The more browning, the better. They'll have a richer flavor. Smells super beefy, like fatty aroma all over the kitchen. Mmm, caramelized almost. Mm -hmm. So our oxtails are all nice and brown on all sides, so that's gonna add a really delicious, yummy flavor to our stew. Mmm. Smells super fatty and beefy all over this apartment right now. I had to close all the doors. 
So I've shut off my Instant Pot, but you want to check the pot to make sure there's not too much excess oil that the oxtails exuded. Reason being, going back to the point that I made earlier, you don't want your stew to be too greasy and too fatty. So if there is excess oil on the bottom, let's make sure to empty that out. So now with the Instant Pot on saute mode, we are going to add the aromatics to the pot to get them all nice and brown as well. So that's going to be the garlic, the ginger, the spices, so star anise, the clove, and then also the bay leaves. So we want to just kind of let them sit in the pot, get nice and hot and super fragrant. So it'll probably take about two to three minutes. And at that point, we're going to add in all the other ingredients. Water. Ooh. Cooking wine. Sugar. Light soy sauce. Dark soy sauce. Okay, so we're gonna stir this up a little bit and then I'm gonna shut the saute off. And then we're gonna add in the oxtails. So it's okay if the oxtails are not fully submerged in the water because as they pressure cook, they're going to start breaking down and they're going to eventually get submerged. And they're also going to release their own liquids. So the liquid level, even though you see it here, it's actually gonna rise just a little bit. So now we're gonna put our lid on and we're finally gonna start the pressure cooking. Make sure your ceiling ring is in. Make sure that the knob is set to sealing. And then we're going to pressure cook for 45 minutes. So I'll see you in about 45 minutes. But also remember, 45 minutes doesn't include the time to come to pressure. So that should be an additional about 10 to 15 minutes. And while we're waiting for the oxtail stew to be ready, don't forget to like this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Okay, peeps. The oxtail stew was pressure cooked at 45 minutes and then I allowed it to naturally release for about 15 minutes. Got a little bit impatient. So I kind of forced it to venting so I forced it to release the pressure. And so now we're going to open the pot. Whoa. Oh my God, that smells so, so good. Super beefy, super star anise-y. You can smell the cloves. It smells so nice and like sweetly spicy. Okay, so as you can see here, this is very, very soupy. It's very liquidy, which is actually what we don't want. So now I've already shut the Instant Pot off, but we're gonna turn it on to saute and reduce the stew so that it's nice and thick and that it'll easily coat a spoon. Okay, so we're getting a little bit impatient. The reducing is taking quite a bit of time. I did do a quick taste of the sauce and it's still super, super yummy. It's just not as thick as it ideally should be. So if you have more time, of course, definitely reduce it. You really want it to be able to coat the back of that spoon. So I've already turned off the Instant Pot and so I'm gonna serve it with some quinoa. Of course, it's really tasty with rice, especially white rice. Mm, really softs up all those delicious juices. Take this nice, clunky one. Whoa! Get some of those nice juices. And then for some added freshness, I always like to garnish with some chopped cilantro as well as scallion if you have it. So add some freshness and some brightness. Okay, peeps, finally time to dig in and taste this delicious Chinese oxtail stew. 
Oh my gosh, it's super tender. You don't even need a knife to, to basically dive into this. You need to dig your fork in and get it in the right spot, and it falls right off the bone. Falls right off the tail. <laughs> Tails. Ox tail. Okay. Some of this sauce. Bon appetit. Mm. <laughs> that is like stick to your stomach good. Super fatty, super rich. The meat is incredibly tender. It literally just melts in your mouth when you put it in your mouth. Taste all that star anise and the cloves, the soy sauces, just all melding together. The super nice, luxurious mouthfeel. If we reduced it more, if I weren't being lazy and impatient for dinner, it would be even thicker and more silky. This is definitely one of the tastiest, richest of my grandma's recipes. So, so good. Love my grandma. Do you love your grandma? Do you love your grandma? Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you love your grandma's cooking, make sure to subscribe. So that wraps up the first episode of Grandma's Recipes. I hope you enjoyed learning about how to make this delicious Chinese oxtail stew. It's definitely very lip smackingly good and it'll definitely stick to your stomach after. So it's definitely an indulgent meal. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would love to hear what your favorite dish was that your grandma ever made you. Please remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get immediate notifications as soon as I upload my next video. Thanks again for watching and hope to see you next time. Leave yummy.